There's a famous quote by Joe Jarwell. He said, we sleep safely in our beds because rough men stand ready in the night to visit violence upon those who would harm us. I, I think that's pretty pro profound because that's what's happening every day and we, we just don't realize it. And this old English doctor, he says, let's see what you weigh. So I stepped on the scale, hardly wiggled it, 85 pounds. He says, you're not going to make it home. And I just thought to myself, buddy, I'll, I'll outlive you. I have, I think. <laughs> and I walked by here, saw him putting his stripes on I said, how do you get them to be a sergeant that way? Oh, he says, sign up to be a gunner. He said, if you pass everything, he says, then you automatically be a sergeant, see? And they said, oh, if you stay and be an instructor, why, then you go up and shoot and you fall apart, you get your wings and everything. Lieutenant Boyd needs a tail gunner, so you're gonna be signed up for tail gunner. I landed out just outside of Berlin, and I saw one tree had limbs a little lower. I dove underneath that, and I laid there till towards evening, and I got up and I walked, and then here was a guard on the end. So I run across, and I didn't go from here to that wall. And he hollered, halt! And I looked up, that old boy had, I think he had a six-foot gun. He had that pointed at me, so I threw my hands up. It took 10 days. And once a day, we'd get a little watery soup or something, this once. And we got to this uh, camp and put in, and they unloaded us. And I come by a piece of wood, and I started to carve it out and then fix it all up so it looked just like a barn, you know. And then I started to make a house. And then I thought, well, I got the house and the barn. I better be able to prep. And I'd work for hours on that, and hours, hours. And you just wonder, well, will you ever see another Christmas? You know, you just wonder. By our little radio, we knew that the Russians had taken over a Staten on the Elbe River. And that's a hundred miles past us. And then all of a sudden, that very day, there that old boy, officer said to her, get your blanket, we're going to march you now. We knew that the, Ru the Russians are south and west of us, so they took us north and northwest. The first day, we walked about, about 16, I think, that day. And then the next day, took off another 30 miles, and then another 30 miles. As we went this march, and I went uh, into a camp right on the Rhine River, right across from France, and that was an English camp. Things like this happen every day. There's service people all over the world, U.S. military people defending us, so I think it's important to remember that and, and to document it rather than letting those pieces of history go away.